get a rookie. It was week one, so let's just see how he progresses. Uh, first of all, Grady mm, Kenny Clark's Grady. better than Grady. Oh, I was just going to say, Kenny Clark, ten times better than Grady Jarrett. Grady Jarrett's good. Kenny Clark, great stud. Big difference. Zadarius Smith, way better. Preston Smith, way better than either edge guys they have. Uh, Martinez, better than their middle linebacker. Safety tandem, better than theirs. All four corners, oh all five corners, better can... than theirs. Sorry, defense overall, better than theirs. Uh, no, <clears throat> don't even give me Atlanta. I can't handle Atlanta, this head by it. Atlanta is yeah, no, it's the damn Neal, truth. I'm sorry. He it's the damn not, truth. It's the truth. He hurt his team more than helped him. Truth. Truth. I, here's, who here's gave up? Who, wait a second. Who gave? Who gave? Yeah, up, let him who, speak. Who gave up fewer points? Who gave up fewer yards? Yeah. I think. I think if you polled most, and this is NFL fans in general, if you took a poll, Deion Jones would win out above Martinez. And Vic Beasley would win out above the Smith brothers. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vic and Beasley imagine, has not done anything since his rookie year. I was just going to say, and Vic Beasley's known for why? For like the five plays he's made in his entire career? Get out of here. And he wears 44. That's why. That's like one of the dumbest numbers I've ever seen for a pass rusher in my life. Well, that's just you know a what? number. That's that's something missing from our that's something missing from our first and goal pod. Is we need more polls. Well, I'll be right on that. that. I can put those pull. up every day. Yeah. yeah do you have access to Dylan. Yeah, do it right now, right as we're closing out the show. So as we close out the show, because we're going to be on tomorrow night with the uh, 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 Heart and Skull podcast, Vikings podcast, will be on with us tomorrow night live for our continuation of Rivalry Week, Week 2, Packers versus Vikings. So right before we get going and we close this out, your final word, guys. Dylan, go ahead. You go first. Because he's obviously doing a poll right now. My final word is going to be the excitement and just the joy I have for the growing podcast that is First and Gold Pod. I'm very happy and I'm very proud to be doing this new segment every Sunday morning at 930, the Fantasy Files in the morning. So come check us out, the Fantasy File pregame. We're going to talk about all the games. We're going to have a good time. I think that everyone who follows is not going to regret it. Thank you guys so much again for having me along this ride. This is a ton of fun. Your and family. Looking forward to everyone, <laughs> looking forward to everyone uh, just joining us along the ride. Love football. Love football. Oh, it's going to be fun Sunday mornings. It's the Fanny Fo- Fantasy Files pregame show with Agent Busby, your host. And me, the producer, playing the Wizard of Oz. Da, da, da. Pulling the strings still, like <laughs> usual. I'll just be the dancing bear getting whipped from behind. Well, when Dave can, can break himself away, he will be joining us. And as Ryan chooses to, he will be joining us also. And any melody else that, you know, you know, Dylan happens to decide as the host he wants us to try to pull on, we're going to work our best to bring those guests to you each week. That will be fun. I'm looking forward to it myself this Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern on Spreaker.com or Spotify or iTunes or iHeartRadio. I'm so excited. Dave, what's your final word for the night? Well, you know what? Um, We had a really good guest on with Andy. We had Dylan on for a little bit of Fantasy Files. Man, week one, football is under the record, and we are moving on to week two. Things are just feeling really good right now. Um, We'll see if uh, Jay's waiver wire claims work out for him because we'll hear him cuss all the way from the UP if they don't work out. Um, Also, too, guys, tomorrow night, check us out. Heart and Skull podcast. We're doing a co-preview show of the Vikings-Packers matchup, and I know I can't wait because our last one we had with Hallis Hall Brawl for week one, it, it was a very fun show, a little bit of banter, but a lot of respect there. So I, I know we're looking forward to it, and I know the host of that show is. So we're uh, we're definitely going to want you guys to listen in tomorrow night because it might be a little bit more banter than usual. Who knows? 
Yes. More banter? There could be. There might be. Because this one's going to be a little more heated. There's there's, there's, there's a little bit more uh, recent kind of... Eh, with them. If you know what I mean. Bones. I think I sauce. smell what you're cooking. Can you smell what I'm cooking? Good. Great. Tomorrow night, guys. What time's that on, Dave? I believe that is on 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Central Time. Good deal. We will be there then, folks. And guess what? We got to have a couple of shout outs to end the show. Go ahead, Dave. Shout them out. What do we got? The shout outs? Oh, you mean Mr. Ryan Molstead? Dude, uh, I can't say enough about this guy. He represents Packers 365. He is the epitome of a guy who sits down and listens to almost every podcast there is. And I'm glad we consider him family on this show. He can go ahead and break down the film with the best of them. And he doesn't go out and brag. He doesn't go out and and try and build up anything. He just puts out his takes, and that's what I love about him. There's no, like, anger. There's no, like, happiness in anything. There He's is some anger. In, in there's some anger. There's some anger. There's definitely some anger. Well, Ryan. that's because when he drinks, but that's a different Ryan. We still love that Ryan. There's no happiness. We still love that Ryan, um, <laughs> love but the hell still, out of that Ryan. <laughs> yeah, we still do. We love every kind of Ryan. Uh, and then we go on to Parker Moe's. So you hear that, Parker? I got your name right. Remember who got it wrong? Um, At Parker <laughs> Moe's. Coming writer for DieHardPackersFan dot com. Go ahead and give DieHardPackersFan dot com follows. Um, Parker has a huge following. Go ahead, follow us from him. Go follow uh, DieHardPackersFan dot com. Follow first and go pod. I mean, we're, we're going to have him on plenty of times, and eventually he'll be probably become a part of this family too. So, man, another shout out, Julie. Julie noted from PHG Vibe. That lady, man, I tell you, she uh, she knows her stuff. She kept back in Marlon Mack, like Dylan said, and he came out and had a big game. I think that they're going to lean on him for Jacoby Brissett. And just don't count the Colts out yet, folks. Julie's got some things to tell you. Hey, real quick, uh, speaking of Julie, don't be afraid to get at me about Alvin Kamara. Just look over my roster. Let me know what you think. Uh, Ryan, feel free to let me know uh, what it's going to take to get Josh Jacobs. <laughs> He's putting the offer out on the table, Ryan. You Make give him me put Josh everything. Jacobs before you deal with 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 the commissioner. You call me first, Ryan, about Jacobs. Let me work something <laughs> out. I'll make you offer you can't refuse that. All right, guys, we appreciate you both. Everybody have a great night. We'll be back on tomorrow night with the Heart and Skull podcast. Go Pack Go. Good night, folks. Go Pack Go. Good night. Good night, freaking dollars. Good night, fantasy world. Sleep tight. Don't forget to tune in on Sunday uh, morning, 9.30 a.m. for a brand new show with Dylan Busby, the Fantasy Files pregame show. That's right. Taking an egg. Ooh, get that in, folks. It's going to be a great listen.